This is Twit. Paul on the line from Laguna Heights, California. Hello, Paul Leo Laporte. I'm sorry, Laguna Niguel. Uh, Leo Laporte, the tech guy. Hey, Paul. Hey. Hi, Leo. Thank you for taking the call. Uh, talking about traveling, I'm absolutely agreeing. As soon as uh, as soon as they give us the green signal, we're out of here. We've already got reservations Can't wait. for uh, Kauai in April oh. and France in September. Oh, so, you're a man after my own heart. I love Kauai and I love France. Awesome. Hey, Awesome. We'll meet you there. Yes. We'll you there. Deal. <laughs> hey, um, I've got 35 old uh, VHS tapes. Um, I, I, I uh, solicited one of those services that uh, you send the tapes, and they wanted $650 to convert them to digital. How many tapes? I'm wondering, uh, 35. 35. Well, that's not bad for 35 tapes. Yeah. Yeah. Because um, yeah. that's a lot. You know, they have to transfer. It's hard to do that. But you could do it yourself. My advice would be do it soon because the uh, the material they use for magnetic recordings, like that VHS or audio recordings, mm -hmm. it's a mylar backing with a magnetic, you know, material and kind of iron material on top of it. And boy, 10, 15 years down the road, it starts to flake off. They're they're not going to be real playable much longer. So yeah. they they may already. How old are they? Well, some are more longer, older than that. Of so course, yeah, and, yeah. And I hate I hate sending them to a service and then finding out that uh, they're going to charge me even though there's nothing on the tape. So right, I don't blame you. Yeah. So do do, do I buy an old VHS player and and do you think that these uh, converting um, what do they call it quick. Clear, quick uh, DVD wizard. Yeah, you could do that. What I would do instead, and I don't know how much longer these devices are going to be around, but they make VCRs or VHS machines that have built-in DVDs. Uh, they were they were really designed uh, for you. <laughs> they made it for you, uh, for people who are kind of in this intermediate where they have VHS tapes, but they want to digitize them. And they're not expensive. Um, so what you do on these, I mean, it's real time. So 35 tapes sure. going to take a while. But what you do is you put the tape in, you put a blank DVD in, and you press play, and it records, copies them over. And because it does it all in one uh, fell swoop, you know, it's it's a lot easier and probably a lot less expensive. Um sure. So let me just make sure they're still selling. Yeah, they're still selling them. They're, they call them combo players. Some of them, are, wow, they're so they're they're going up in price. They used to be a few hundred bucks. <laughs> it might be cheaper to get, <laughs> to get the service to do it. But I would I would look around maybe on eBay see if you can find one of those. It's uh, you know your you, the risk is if you put a tape in there that's flaking off, it could destroy the VHS player. Well, I'll so. start with the old, the newer ones. First. Yeah, start with the newer ones. Get them, get put, go. put them in reverse chronological of order of age, uh, so you're most likely to survive them. Sometimes what they'll do is uh, what we used to do with uh, audio tape is bake it, uh, which would harden the ferrous coating, but would only give you one playback. <laughs> You'd have one chance to digitize it. So because there are people. You know, if you think about it, there are magnetic audio recordings going back 50, 60 years more. You know, Miles Davis, Kind of Blue, recorded in the 50s. You know, you want to get those things digitized as quickly as you can. There's lots of Beatles recordings still on uh, eight-track tape at uh, Abbey Road Studios. You want to get those digitized if you can. I think they did a big, they did a big uh, digitization program on the uh, Abbey Road tapes a while ago. Um, well, let me think of what else. Yeah, if you if you can't find one of the converter packages, and it may be, you know, this, the, the, there really was a, a limited time frame where they were useful, where the people had a lot of tapes. Um, now it's kind of a dwindling mass of people. Uh, if you can't find that, yes, you can buy a v VHS player. They're cheap, 30 bucks. Yeah. Nobody wants them. And then uh, connect it up to one of these video capture cards. The output of the VHS player will be what we call, at, at, there may be a couple of choices. There'll be the red, white, and yellow RCA plugs. That's composite video. If it has an S, an S video, that's better quality. It's not digital still. Nobody will have digital probably. But S video would be the best. But then you'd need a capture card that supported S video in. Uh, and ideally, you'd have a capture card that wasn't, 
well, you don't have much choice, but you want USB 2 is so slow that the card, the device has to highly compress the video. I think with VHS, it probably doesn't matter, but you'd, you want the fastest converter box you can get. If it supports USB 3, that would be better because then it will, then it won't have to compress the video as much. And then you'll input it. They usually come with some sort of software to record. Uh, if not, there are lots of choices out there. It, I would say you probably don't want to burn it to DVD because uh, it's better just to keep digital. Then you have all sorts of flexibility. You could, if, if, Aunt, if sure. Aunt, Aunt, uh, Aunt Florence wants a copy of it uh, you, and she only has a DVD player, you could burn it to DVD as needed. But uh, the digital sure. copies are going to be the best quality. Super. Thanks so much, Leo. My Thank pleasure, you. yeah. There's even, you know, if you have a tower PC, most people these days, I don't know if people have slots anymore. If you have slots, you can buy PCI capture cards as well. Those will work a little bit better. In fact, a lot better. Um, Hapog used to make those. Lots of companies. Promise. H-A-U-P-P-A-U-G-E. Worst name in technology. It's a town in Long Island. And I guess they're very loyal to this town in Long Island. But good luck <laughs> finding a pog on the web h-a-p-p-a-u-g-e dot com and uh, they also make these capture cards they're they're pretty good they've been doing that for a long long time they love long island <laughs> apparently <laughs> they love their town so much they named themselves after it might have been a mistake i don't know <laughs>